Well done, Revan. I was certain the defenses of the Starforge would destroy you. But I see there is more of your old self in you than I expected. You are stronger than I thought. Stronger than you ever were during your reign as the Dark Lord. I did not think that was possible. The light side is stronger than you know, Malik. I am tempted to try and capture you alive, Revan. Then I could break your will and bind you to me as my apprentice, as I did Bastila. You would be a far greater asset to me than even Bastila and her battle meditation, if I could control you. But is it worth the risk? Perhaps you are too powerful to be my apprentice. I betrayed you when I realized my own strength was greater than yours. In time, you might try to do the same to me. You're still making the mistake of underestimating me, Malik. I cannot deny your resilience. You survived my first betrayal thanks to Bastila's interference. You escaped the destruction of Taris, and you escaped me on the Leviathan. You even survived my attempt to destroy you with the Starforge itself. Fate and destiny have conspired to keep you alive despite all my efforts. We have been inexorably pushed to this final confrontation, Revan. I see now that this can only be settled when one of us destroys the other. Once again, we shall face each other in single combat, and the victor will decide the fate of the galaxy. tire of this game, Revan. You have been a thorn in my side from the moment I seized the mantle of Dark Lord from your feeble grasp. to amaze me, Revan. 
If only you had been the one to uncover the true power of the Starforge, you might have become truly invincible. But you were a fool. All you saw was an enormous factory. All you ever imagined was an infinite fleet rolling forth to crush the Republic. You are blind, Revan. Blind and stupid. The Starforge is more than just a space station. In some ways, it is like a living creature. It hungers, and it can feed on the dark side that is within all of us. Look around you, Revan. See the bodies? You should recognize them from the Academy. These are Jedi who fell when I attacked Dantooine. For all intents and purposes, dead. Except for one difference. I have not let them become one with the Force. Instead, I have brought them here. The Starforge corrupts what remains of their power and transfers the Dark Taint to me. You cannot beat me, Revan. Not here on the Starforge. Not when I can draw upon the power of all these Jedi. And once you are beaten, I will do the same to you. You will be trapped in a terrible existence between life and death. Your power feeding me as I conquer the galaxy. This is the way of the dark side, Malik. All things end in death. Still... <coughs> still spouting the wisdom of the Jedi, I see. Maybe there is more truth in their code than I ever believed. I... I cannot help but wonder, Revan. What would have happened had our positions been reversed? What if fate had decreed I would be captured by the Jedi? Could I return to the light as you did? <laughs> if you had not led me down the dark path in the first place, what destiny would I have found? I am sorry I started you on this path, but you chose to continue down it. I suppose... I suppose you speak the truth. I alone must accept responsibility for my fate. I wanted to be master of the Sith and ruler of the galaxy. But that destiny was not mine, Revan. <laughs> it might have been yours, perhaps. But never mine. And in the end, as the darkness takes me, I am nothing. <laughs> 